Hi guys, welcome back to my weekly readings. I trust you guys have had a great weekend and are gearing up for the new week coming up. Today we're going to take a little peek at the energies that may affect us from the week of the 5th through to the 11th of November. Pretty soon Thanksgiving is going to be here. I sure hope you guys have been thanking the universe for all the beautiful blessings that it brings into your life, whether they're challenges, blessings, lessons, gifts, it doesn't matter. We need to thank the universe. For what we experience in life because it's all there for a reason guys keep that in mind share when you can be as helpful as you can because this is the month for receiving and forgiving okay it's november i love this month and i love thanksgiving i'd like to thank you guys by the way for those of you that Thumbs up my videos, your beautiful comments. I do love you. Those of you that have stuck with me, no matter what changes I am going through or the difficult situations that I have been through that I always share with you. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Thank you so much for contacting me for private readings, for your donations. I love each and every one of you. Thank you. Please share my videos with your friends. Please recommend me to others for readings. I am open for business <laughs> anyway let's see what we have on the table i have been shuffling and some cards already fell out so i went ahead and laid them all out and let's see what happens first of all we're starting with some messages from our angelic guides the first message that came out or the first card that fell out as i was shuffling was you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Now, I know that the end of the year is quickly approaching us and we have all been through some very difficult changes in the last several years. We have been moving forward, leaps and bounds, but with that movement forward comes a lot of things that we need to let go of, a lot of changes, a lot of mental, physical, and spiritual changes that are not easy to do, especially if they're all happening at the same time. Some of you have moved from uh, one place to another. I know that I have, and it has not been easy, and I'm still trying to adjust. I'm going into the second month now, and it's not, not easy at all by any means. You have to sacrifice some things, and then other things are better than they were before. But there's always that balance, you know. There's always that yin and yang. There's always that, I give this up for this. I have this now, but then I have to sacrifice that. So it's, it's always the same thing, you know. No matter what you do in life, there's always that balance. There's always that sacrifice. There's always that plus, though. So you, you always have to look at the positive situation, as opposed to the negative situation because that's what's going to help you through to the next step. Otherwise, you'll attract that negative energy and you'll keep bringing more of that in. So you're being asked to release any fears, any negative thoughts that you may have, any patterns that, that you've been very, very diligently working on because that is what's holding you back at this time and you need to forget the fears. As you move forward, you're being whispered in your ear by your guides, your angelic guides that are right behind you saying, hey, do this. This is going to improve your life. Even if you don't see it yet, as you move forward, you will see why you had to make that change. The things that came up, why they had to happen the way that they did. But remove the fear from it. Know that the worst is now behind you as you move through these changes and you must continue to do them. Okay, so don't fear. Anything, perhaps in the next couple of days, you're going to be in a situation where you're afraid. Oh, wow, should I park my car here or should I go into this place? Remove the fear. Just do as you're being told to do, okay? Because it's, it's the path that you need to be on. We also have Sonia here. She says, I bring you messages from your deceased loved ones. I'm happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So if you've been thinking of pastimes, family members, people that you love. Some of you may have lost someone very recently that was very dear to you and they're saying hello. Don't fear. I'm right here with you. Just because you can't see me doesn't mean that the energy doesn't still exist. It exists between us. The love, the emotion that you have for me is still there. I'm still here watching over you and helping you through these challenges that you are going through at this time. You can reach out. 
I'll be there as your support. So you have your angelic guides along with your ancestors or your family members or perhaps even relationships. Someone that you lost that you love very much. But is still very much with you as a guide now. So keep that in mind. You're being told to reach for the stars and don't compromise the things that you want because some of them may be taking a little bit more time to manifest because the divine timing isn't prepared yet. Remember, everyone has free will if you're waiting for a relationship. Um, all the things that you need to mature or to experience may not happen as quickly as they should in order for you to get to the next step of what you want to manifest so everything has its divine timing everything has its lesson so we have to wait but you're being told that it's not impossible to manifest the things that you want your dreams don't compromise and settle for something less than what you truly would love in your life they're asking you to go for it and every day to take a tiny little step towards it don't give up. If you're trying to lose weight, eat a little less. Eat a little healthier. Drink more water. Pray more. Walk more. Exercise more if you can. A little walking. A little sitting in a chair and moving your body to some music. Listen to more music. It raises your vibration. If you're trying to quit smoking, smoke one less cigarette a day. Start counting them. Start finding reasons why you don't want to smoke. You don't want to smell like that anymore. You don't want people to know that you smoke. Start getting that in your head. I don't want anyone to know that I smoke anymore. I don't want my clothes to smell like cigarettes or marijuana or whatever it is that you're trying to break away from. I don't want to slur my words anymore. I don't want to drink anymore. Or I want to curb my drinking. I want to have it under control. Perhaps socially, once in a blue moon, once every six months. I mean, you have to work towards your goals just a little bit. Every single day. I want a new job. Get out there. Comb the internet for jobs. Put your application out there. Join uh sites that put your application out to many places get out there pound the pavement find out what's going on sometimes you'll your guides will guide you right to the place where you need to go a friend will say something someone will help you there'll be helpful people that will assist you don't give up keep moving forward don't allow fear or negative thought patterns which that card is on the table as well to stop you You deserve your dreams and your desires. Don't compromise. Reach for the stars. Look up to the stars. Talk to the universe of what you truly want and then release it. Don't put worry into it. Oh, it's not coming. It's never going to come. I'm never going to achieve this. This is not going to happen. You know, as soon as you say, oh, I would love this to happen. No, what you say is, oh, thank you, universe, because what I want already exists. It exists in the spirit realm. And it's, it's here already. I can taste it. I can feel it. You can start acting out like you've already gotten your dream. And that's the energy that will bring it to you. So don't give in. and Don't give up. Reach for it. It is there. It's there for you to grab. The next card that came out is Archangel Michael. So not only do we have our angelic guides that are whispering in our ears and helping us move forward and our loved ones on the other side and our ancestors that have gone before us and the people that have truly made a an emotional connection with us and are on the other side but we have Archangel Michael is saying hey I'm with you giving you the courage to make your life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose what is it that you guys love to do what is your divine life purpose what do you love what are your talents focusing you towards it's like an arrow almost what is it what is it that you love do you love to paint do you love to sew do you love to cook do you love to talk to people do you love to lift the souls up lift people up always say something positive to someone to make them feel better why do they talk to you well because they want you to help them feel better are you a healer a counselor, an athlete, someone that can help others to work on their bodies. Are you a doctor? Do you have skills? What are your skills? What are they? Only you know. 
I know what my skills are. I know what I need to focus on and I need to go in that direction because the more I do it, the happier I get. And it's just the way it is. You need to be happy about the things that you do in your life, people, in order to achieve them. So Archangel Michael as well is helping us. His energy or its energy is there to assist us, to move us forward. And they're always there. They're always there. So just know that you're being supported to move forward with your dreams. The first card that we have on the table is the sun card. It's about abundance in our life, in our dreams, the warmth of the sun. Getting outdoors for those of you. Where if it's warm where you are now, you need to spend more time outdoors. Enjoy the sun. Soak it up. Meditate outside in nature where the thoughts will just flow into you. What your next step should be. What you need to do. Get out. Move your body. Experience the sun and the warmth that is around you, the love that is already there, the warmth that comes from other people, from being around other people that care about you. The new experiences that you're about to embark on, the new plan, the new life, the new experience that's coming in to lift you up, to make you feel brand new again, like a child, like, wow, I can do anything this is the universe saying, hey, I'm going to bless you. What is it that you want? What is it that you truly love? And you have the Ace of Cups that's there going, hey, I can bring you something that you love. What is it? What is it? Could it be a new partner? Could it be a new experience? Could it be a new project that you begin? Whatever it is, is something that you're truly going to love and it's going to engulf you. Reach out and hang on to it. Don't give up. Now you're going to be worried about, well, am I going to be able to achieve this? This is what's hanging right over you. You're like, oh my God, you're staying up at night worrying about, is this going to happen? Am I ever going to get what I want in life? Is, am, I ever, am I going to be able to materialize selling my home? Am I going to be able to materialize a new partner? I can't pay my bills. Is there a new job coming in? And we're worried about it. So the more we worry, the more it flees from us. It's like wanting to meet a mate. And the more you look, the more the people seem like they're literally are running away from you. Because it's an energy that's felt of fear. But the minute you let go and you're not paying attention anymore, and you're like, yes, I can do this. And you have that firmness, that positivity about you that, yes, I'm going to do this. Yes, this is going to happen. It may not happen today because the energies are not all lined up. But they will, it will happen. And you go forward with that thought in your head and nothing deters you. By George, it'll happen. The angels are saying, why are you worried? Why are you bringing this energy of worried about you? No. You tell yourself, yes, this is going to happen. And yes, I'm going to be able to materialize a new relationship. Of course, I'm going to sell my home. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be in a week or in a month. But it's going to happen because it's already happened in the spirit world. It'll happen when the timing is perfect. Perfect. When the perfect person comes, that's going to want to pay me exactly what I want for that house. When the perfect partner comes, that's perfectly matched with you for the lessons you need to learn at this time in your life. Where you are, it'll be your spitting image. So remember, the more you work on yourself, the more your partner will as well. So when you two meet, you'll be the spitting image of each other. You'll be your reflection is going to be looking back at you. So if you're scared, that person will be too. If you're wanting to run away, that person will want to run away as well. Just know that whatever it is you attract, it's going to be you, but on the other side of that mirror. Okay, keep that in mind because that is something that I have found to be perfectly true in my teachings and in my learnings by George. I don't believe it. The way that people mirror each other, it's amazing. If it isn't a mate, it's a family member. Or somebody closely related to you. And then there's the ones that you'll see that you'll say, well, I've already overcome that. I am above that. I am beyond that lesson. But you'll see it reflected back to you from someone else. Because you'll say, well, I already worked through all that. I am so proud of myself. Yay. And you raise your vibration even higher. Okay. What you're leaving behind at this time is temptation. You're starting to get a hold of yourself, of your emotions, of the things that have brought you down. You don't want to be around people that bring you down anymore. 
you're starting to recognize that negative energy. You're moving away from this, from temptation, from falling for, let's say, in a relationship for a, a relationship that's damaging to you, something that you don't want in your life anymore. Whether you're a male or a female, I'm talking to both sexes. It doesn't matter who you like to go to bed with. But you're moving away from relationships that are shallow, that don't have a spiritual content in them, that you don't feel it. It's not a, a spiritually based relationship. You're moving away from the ones that are sexually based. That's not interesting anymore. You're moving away from people that are toxic to you. Your addictions. You're getting a hold of them, no matter what the hell they are. Sex, drugs, whatever. Food, negative energy, negative thoughts, patterns, all of them. You're moving away because now you're starting to see them. You can recognize them and you don't want them in your life anymore. They don't control you anymore. So this is what's moving out of your life now, which is a wonderful thing. As you move through the end of this year, you're going to be a way better person when you come out the other end of this, this new year that's coming now. The foundation of the question is, is new plans, is something brand new. You want to bring a new creative energy into your life. You also, you also want to be in love with yourself, in love with life, in love with your partner, in love with the new person that comes into your life. You just want to spread love everywhere because this is the messenger of water. This is the, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups offers his cup of love to the world, a new project. Something that moves you forward where romance is concerned. A new romantic partner that comes into your life. It could be a water sign. For those of you that are single, a water sign may come into your life and just offer their you know, cup of love to you. It could be you offering your cup of love to someone else or to the world. To yourself. Falling in love with yourself again and moving your life forward. Very romantic. Looking at the world in a romantic shade. A beautiful shade. And seeing things from a different angle. So that as you move forward, your life becomes easier. And this isn't just a weekly reading. This reading is a life lesson. It's for your life to move forward. Something to help you. But yes, it could be about this week. Your immediate future. We have the Eight of Fire. This is movement forward. This is inspiration. These are messages that come in, ideas, inspired ideas that happen because you're firing. You're firing thoughts. Your inspiration is bringing your vibrations up and you're moving forward with your ideas as you move through to the end of the year. Many ideas. You could have many suitors. You could have many plans. Inspired action that you take that moves you, that propels you forward. Perhaps someone says something to you. Somebody could give you a message of something new. A seed that you planted eight years ago, four years ago, two years ago. And now all of a sudden, boom, they all start coming in like that. And you start moving forward because it's like, okay, finally my dreams are manifesting. Am I going to be stupid and say no? Hell no. You're going to go and propel yourself right through them very, very quickly. So that you can come out the other end and then you might be afraid because the changes, you know, if you haven't done them already, you're about to and you're going to be like afraid to say yes. It's going to keep you up at night. You're going to go, oh no, I'm so, I don't know, am I making the right decision? Should I do this? Should I not? Remember the angel saying, hey, hello, we're right behind you. This is time to move forward. Your ancestors are saying, hello, we're here. Just reach out to us. We're here. We'll support you. Archangel Michael is like, what are you afraid of? Why are you afraid? Move. Move forward. No matter what it is. New job, new relationship, from house to house. Just keep moving forward. Keep putting your thoughts out there, your plans out there. Just prepare. Continue to prepare in the right time. The right situation will come. The right people will come. And then... Everything moves forward because this is what we're heading towards. Our future is yes. Movement forward. Okay? Your unconscious desires that are about to manifest. This is a nine of fire. This is, again, inspired. You're going from the eight to the nine. Inspired passions. This is you being able to protect yourself, knowing that you feel protected, have all your passions there lined up, and still continue to move forward. 
because you can't help it. You have all this fire. So we're surrounded by all this inspiration and all this water that's going to help keep us balanced as we move forward and releasing all our fears and our negative energy and people that are negative in our lives, not listening to that anymore, not allowing them to push your buttons to lower your energy or drain your energy, which is what happens when negative people come into our lives because we start to shine. And it's a, it's not that we have like the sun behind us, but we do in a sense. The sun is like right there going, hey, I'm going to shine a light behind you so people will see it. It will be felt. And then they're going to want to come and mess with you and drain some of that power for themselves because they, they would like to shine too and they want to be happy and they want their, you know, their uh, vibrations raised. They want to feel that inspiration that they feel coming from you. They want to have it too and they'll drain you, but you have to put an end to it. You have to stop it. You have to block it. You need to block your energy, put up that bubble that protects you. Okay, because you don't want anyone draining your beautiful, shiny little power that you're going to have as you move through the next couple of months or this week, starting this week. You're going to be very, very enlightened and powerful because you're pulling that energy. And if you're a Sagittarius, you have Jupiter coming into your sign, which you have waited patiently for for 12 years. So be prepared for our father Jupiter to bless us with something wonderful that we've wanted, that we've worked hard for. That Saturn pushed us down on our face. All of you have Sagittarius in your chart. All of you have a ninth house. Wherever that is in your chart, find it and see where you're going to propel forward. What house is it in? Is it in your home? Is it in communications? Is it in love? Is it in relationships? Is it in transformation? Is it in your spirituality? Where and what house do you have Sagittarius? Okay? Because that's what's going to move forward. Next card. How others see us, our environment around us. The people, people around us are going to see us moving forward. This is the chariot. This is a chariot card. This is a card of being triumphant. People are going to feel it. They're going to want to be part of it. So some people will help us achieve things that... We've been trying to achieve for a while. Some people will give us a heads up. Others will give us a hand up, a leg up, whatever. People are going to help us and they're going to see us moving forward and they're going to feel it. They're going to feel it. There could, this could also represent a cancer, a water sign. This could represent the timing cancer, which is coming around. That'll be what, sometime right before summer that we have cancer or yeah, right at the beginning of summer. So around that time, it could represent also the sun, you know, times when it's warm, the Leo timing, the Capricorn timing, you know. Uh, did I say Capricorn? That's because we have the devil card over here. Capricorn timing, Leo, and this is Cancer. Okay, so around that time, Capricorn is, well, that'll be later on, like right at the beginning of the year. So it could start there and move through, through Leo, through Cancer. Because those are the major arcanas that we have on the table. And then we have, well, we're working our way to the last one, which is the best card. I love this reading. This reading is free, is very powerful, okay? And I'm very surprised <clears throat> that it came out. When that last card fell on the table, I was like, yes. Amazing. Okay, so we're moving forward, guys. And everyone is seeing this, okay? Now our hopes and our fears... Is that we're not going to be able to manifest the things that we want. But we are sitting pretty. We're triumphant at this time. We're going to have a position of advantage over others. Whether it's at work. Let's say you're fighting for the same position. A couple of people. Well, you're going to have a heads up over others. You're going to have the position of advantage. So don't fear. Keep moving forward. Have that faith. Have that unshakable faith. And trust me, if it doesn't happen now. It's because the energies aren't ready and you're going to get even better later. So don't be afraid, okay? Keep moving forward. We're standing in a good position at this time. So don't put any fear into it. Because this card tells me that, yes, you're going to achieve what you want. You just hang in there. This is pure inspiration. Inspire yourself. Get inspired about the things that you want in your life. Because right now, the way that the planets are moving and the things that are happening out there, 
we'll be able to manifest some things. Yes, there's going to be some negative energy. Yes, we're going to be drawn back by some people, but don't give up and don't give in because there's too many good cards on the table here for that. The last card that we have, the outcome is the star. This is the best card of the deck, along with the Ace of Cups. There's hope. There's hope for the things that we want. This is inspiration manifest. For our dreams to manifest. Wish upon a star. Wishing upon a star and achieving what we want in the end. It won't be easy to get there. We have to fight a lot. We have to really push forward. But we will achieve the things that we want in the end. So we are not to give up. We have Archangel Michael right behind us. So he'll be there to support us because we probably will need support. Otherwise, that card wouldn't come out on the table. The thing is that it's there. So it helps me know that what I want, I'm going to manifest. It may not be easy. I might have to struggle. I got to get my wands out there and fight like a son of a gun. But it won't be in vain. What you do will not be in vain. Okay? It's going to help you. You may team up with others as well in order to achieve this. There's travel for some of you. You may meet someone that you travel with. You may want to travel. There may be a trip that you are planning on taking. Don't say no. Move forward with that trip. Go ahead. The holidays are coming, so a lot of people do plan on taking a trip. Some of them will fall through because it won't be the right timing, and others are going to happen. You're going to be moving forward. For some of you, this card represents seeds that are planted. Seeds that you planted a while back, and you're starting to see the ships coming in. Now you're starting to hear back from the people that you communicated with years ago, maybe three years ago. You're also going to team up with other people in order to manifest the things that you want to bring into your life. Three people, at least three people. The Queen of Fire is here as well. This is a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries will step up to help you. Or it's just you manifesting your dreams because the Queen of Fire, thats she has the inspired fire within her. She comes up with the idea to start the creative project, to move the life forward. She's the dreamer. She's the one that dreams and puts out that fire in order to move things forward. And if she has to destroy her life, everything around her, she does it. Because it's what's called for. It's what's inspired in her by her guides. By divine intervention is that inspiration. But she gets shit done even though it may hurt. But that queen of fire says you're going to be able to manifest the things that you want. Through fire and time it's happening. But that fire <laughs> that you have to go through is hot. So it may piss people off. It may change a lot of things. You may have to drop a lot of things out of your life, out of your existence in order to make it happen. But it can be doable. It's doable. And these cards are saying, yes, with fire and a little water to keep you balanced, you're going to be able to manifest the things that you want in your life. So don't give up and don't give in. Let me pull a romance card just to see what, what the hey, hey, they have to say to me today. To all of us ask for something see what card comes up there it is let's see Woo! it's honeymoon for some of you you're going to be spending some really good quality time with your significant other get out there go away for a weekend set aside some money i know it can be hard but start gathering it up even if it's five dollars at a time and when you get enough to go rent a hotel somewhere and really blow the socks off of your partner, do it. Do it. For some of you, it's marriage. And you're going to be spending some really good quality time with your new hubby. So, yay for you. Congratulations for some of you, okay? And for others, get out there. Enjoy holiday time by yourself. You know, if you want to have a partner, then... Dream it up while you're out there relaxing and thinking about all the beautiful things that you want to manifest into your life because it's doable. You can do it. All right, guys, it's time for pick a card for the interactive part of the reading. I'm not going to let you down without it. Ooh, they're flying all over the place. Let me, let me get a hold of them. I move some of these cards out of the way because they're so so hot. These cards, man, 
They are very, very good. I really love this reading for this week. I'm sorry it's coming through so late, but I had to uh, do some things with my mom. So that's that. She came first today. They could not be put off. And uh, now I finally had some time to myself. Oops. What is this? Love life, people. <laughs> Somebody's getting a new partner. Someone has a love life or is about to start one. And for those of you that have partners, your love life is going to get very warm this month. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. So if you guys have been having problems or experiencing some situations that are a little bit negative with your partner, it's about to get better. Like I said, some of you are going on a second honeymoon. Some of you need to get away with your partner, and that's going to really spark things up for you. And some of you asked about a new romantic partner, and there it is. It's coming. It's already in the spirit world. Stay focused, okay, so that it can manifest for you. Okay. One, two, three, A, B, C. Be patient. Be patient. Those things that you're asking about are about to manifest. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. So there's some situations that we need to go through first. And once we do, then the things that we're asking for will manifest. So don't be afraid, okay? Don't put fear into it. or It takes a little bit longer when you do it. It still manifests, but not as fast because the fear blocked it. No, no fear, no anxious sighs or thoughts of, oh my goodness, when am I going to finally, no, don't say that. Just keep saying to yourself, it's already manifest, already manifest. Okay. Remember compassion this month is going to be very important. Be compassionate with yourself. Be compassionate with those around you. Remember, we're all struggling very, very seriously in order to move forward in life. And those around you are too. So always be compassionate with those around you and try to help them. Hold them up a little bit. Lift their spirits a little bit. Everyone that you meet this week. Flower power for those of you that chose A. Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing powers. So spend some time with flowers if you've been feeling a little tired, drained, weak. There's something that you can't get off your mind. Your energies are a bit low. It's time to start smelling the roses. Get out there and smell different flowers. Just looking at them can make you happy. The beautiful blooming flowers. Buy some flowers. Have them around you. Have them at work. Have them at home. So when you come into your room, you see them. You smell them. You take care of them. You feel their gentle petals. And that will help you. Some flowers are even edible, so if you can find some to eat, do it, and ingest their color, ingest their life force. It will help you, okay? It's time for you to start sending out love and loving feelings and loving thoughts to those around you. Negativity has to be set aside or else it's going to help you as you move forward. I mean, hurt you as you move forward. Sorry about that. The helping you is this, to send out loving emotions, loving thoughts. Hug your friends. Hug your family members. Hug yourself. Tell yourself you love yourself. Okay, it has to start with you. All right, and get some flowers. It's going to help you as you move through this week. Okay, those of you that chose B. Ooh. Hello, your wish is granted. Keep moving forward. Man, we have a lot of good cards on the table today, folks. What you've asked for is coming true. So just don't put any fear into the situation and keep moving forward. It's coming. Allow love to come into your life. Okay? Allow it. Allow it and you'll see. Love comes in many forms. Love your neighbors. Love the people around you. Just open your heart. Allow loving emotions to come in because you never know who you're going to meet or you never know what's going to happen or the things that are happening in your life, how they can turn 90 degrees, 160 degrees or whatever, 360 degrees around and just 
and a snap of your finger and all of a sudden, wow, your life changes. Keep positive thoughts. For those of you that chose C, you've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. There's a little girl here, or a little fairy, walking a tightrope, a string. You have the power to do incredible things. Believe in yourself. Don't put any fear into it. The situation that you've been struggling to make a decision, struggling to get through some energy, to open a door, to achieve your dream, you've got the power to achieve it. Even if you have to walk a tightrope like this little girl is doing you're going to make it to the other end so do not fear you have archangel metatron here he holds the book of life he knows exactly what happens in your life or what you are headed for so call upon his energy in order to assist you move forward in moving forward There are specific steps that you need to take in your life. You need to do it. This is telling you that you have the power to make those life changes, that you have the power to move forward. Don't give in or give up. The energies may be a bit difficult. There may be some negative thoughts or people or situations holding you back, but don't give up because this card is saying that you can and you have to take the next step in your Kabbalah tree or in your tree of life, there's something that you need to move in a certain direction from one spot to another. So it's time for you to do this. He holds the book of life and he's saying, hey, you have certain things you need to accomplish. Don't hold back. Keep moving forward. Big kisses and hugs to all of you guys. I send you lots and tons of love and healing towards all of you i do love you my spirit my energy is very high today thank you thank you so so much for listening to my reading i know it's a little bit late but i'm doing it so lots of kisses and love and i will talk to you again soon bye for now folks